Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, director of the Miami Space Transit Planetarium, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now this week's episode. Mars and the manger plus the God of War steps into a cosmic beehive, just as you set your clocks back to standard time. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. This year, something very special happens in the cosmos when you set your clocks back to standard time. Because if you set your clocks back at the official setback time at 2 a.m. Sunday morning, November 1st, your clocks will officially read 1 a.m. standard time after which you can walk outside and view something very special, which has to do with the planet Mars and a wonderful star cluster. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for Sunday, November 1st, 2 a.m. daylight saving time, which equals 1 a.m. standard time facing southeast. And if you look about one third of the way up the sky, you'll see the brightest star in the heavens, Sirius, which marks the eye of Canis Major, Orion's bigger dog. And if you look just to its left, you'll see the less bright star, Procyon, which marks the eye of Canis Minor, Orion's smaller dog. Then if you just look off to its left, you'll see a rouge gold light about the same brightness as Procyon, our old friend, the planet named for the god of war, 4,000 mile wide Mars. And just coincidentally, on the morning we all set our clocks back, Mars steps into a cosmic object called Praesepi, which is Latin for the manger, but which is more properly known as the beehive. Now, if you have clear dark skies and are far from city lights, to the naked eye, Praesepi will look like a little cloud or a cloudy star, which is what the Greek astronomer Hipparchus called it in his star catalog around 130 BC. His predecessor, Aratus, around 260 BC, called it the Little Mist. And to the naked eye, this is exactly what Presepi looks like, a misty little cloud. So, with the naked eye, you'll see bright Mars embedded in a tiny, faint cloud. But there's more to this than meets the naked eye, because through a pair of binoculars, you'll see that this misty little cloud is actually a cluster of stars, which looks like a swarm of celestial bees. You'll see about 40 through binoculars, but through a telescope, you can count at least 200. And there are at least five red giant stars in this cluster, similar to Orion's Betelgeuse and Scorpius's and Terry's. And if you want to see how fast objects move in the sky, here is your opportunity, because Mars is inside the manger and beehive for one night only. 24 hours earlier, on Halloween, October 31st, it is just above the cluster. And on November 2nd, has passed through it and is just below it. So November 1st, when you set your clocks back, is the only time to see Mars buzzing with the bees. But may I remind you once again that what you are seeing is an illusion. In fact, the only reason Mars appear to be inside the beehive is because Mars and the Beehive are coincidentally in the same line of sight on November 1st. In fact, on November 1st, Mars will be only 110 million miles away, while the stars of the Beehive will be 600 light years away, which means that Mars is so close that it will take less than 10 minutes for its light to reach us, while it takes 600 years for light from the beehive to reach us. Wow! So set those clocks back and then watch Mars visit the beehive and the manger. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. Thank you.